Now to the secret life of Osama bin Laden. A treasure trove of documents taken the night he was killed has just been released by the CIA, and they shed new light on what he was thinking, reading, and writing in his final days. Our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, in Washington with all the details. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. This is a fascinating window into bin Laden's years in hiding, years filled with trying to plot attacks on America, while at the same time reading best-selling books about the U.S. efforts to hunt him down. The newly released documents collected from the bin Laden compound by SEAL Team 6 during the deadly raid in 2011. To one of his lieutenants, he wrote, we have to focus on killing and fighting the American people. But the Al-Qaeda lieutenants knew the U.S. was always watching. We should be careful not to send big secrets by email, even encrypted, they wrote. Drones, another big concern. You should change houses only on cloudy days. And to his wife, who was traveling to join bin Laden from Iran, he warned she must leave all of her belongings behind before joining him. Some chips have been lately developed for eavesdropping, so small it is possible to implant a chip in some of the belongings. He even told her to have a filling replaced if it was less than a year old in case a transmitter had been hidden in her teeth. One of the more stunning documents, a job application for those seeking to join al-Qaeda, asking about hobbies, special skills, and instructions to write legibly. And then this, do you wish to execute a suicide operation? Who should we contact in case you become a martyr? Address and phone number, please. And bin Laden's bookshelf? filled with English language books, including Bob Woodward's Obama's War and the 9-11 Report. This is just a small part of what was taken at the compound, but administration officials say they are working to declassify many more documents, George. Boy, that'll be something. Okay, Martha, thanks very much.